Deposit on Account, Partial Payment Option. If we take a down payment ahead of time for a job or receive partial payment for a job that's still in process, we use the Deposit on Account feature in the customer record to accept and post those payments. Let's take a look. In a customer record, under the Customer Options button on the left, there's a feature called Deposit on Account. Note here, these Deposit on Account payments are entered in the customer record, not on any open repair orders or parts invoices. Let's step through this process and we'll see later where we can apply that Deposit on Account to an RO or parts invoice. We enter the date the payment was received, enter the amount received, and select the payment method. This payment will show up on this date in our cash drawer, as well as in the daily sales report. We can add any additional notes here for reference if we like. And this button, Transaction Details, is for use after the fact. Let's click OK, and we can print a receipt for that payment, or just click Don't Print. And here is that deposit on account. Now we have credit available for this customer to use to pay for work done at our shop. We can view the detail of that deposit on account by clicking the Customer Options button again and selecting to View AR Transactions. We can right-click on that deposit on account line to select an option to reprint a receipt if necessary. And once that deposit on account is applied to an invoice, it will no longer appear on this list of open invoices and credits. This feature is also used to take partial payments or progress payments for work still in progress as we do not apply partial payments like this one to any open ROs or parts invoices until we close those tickets out. They're always entered and tracked here. So when we're ready to close and pay an RO, let's see where that deposit on account shows up for us to apply. Close and pay. Here on the cash drawer screen, we have a red flashing credit available notice and the amount available on that customer's account to apply to this RO. We click the Use Credits for Payment button and click in the Use column on the left for the credits we want to use and notice the credits selected will total up here. In this case, the RO will not use up the entire deposit on account. It will only use 4706 of it. We click OK, and the amount of the credit used will show up in this box. Let's cancel this payment for a second and go back. We could have also edited the amount of that deposit on account we wanted to use for this RO by clicking this Edit Payment Amount button before we click in the Use column, or it won't let us edit the amount to use. Let's just use $25 of it and click OK and click OK down here again. And now it shows the amount of the credit used and we can select another payment method for the balance and finish. When we look at the customer's record again, the remaining credit from that deposit on account is there to be used next time. And this concludes the lesson Deposit on Account Partial Payment Option.